And we're back from this great report, and we have been joined by our first guest for this evening, the gymnast Ghazlan Dehfeil. Good evening, Ghazlan, and welcome to Hali Kuwait. Hi, thank you. So it's great to have you with us here. We're going to talk a lot about uh, gymnastics, basically. So how many years have you been practicing gymnastics? I've been doing it for five years, since 2017. So it's been a while for sure. And how did you start with it? Did someone give you the idea? Uh, actually, yes, my cousin. Um, we used to play together a lot. He did gymnastics since he was four. And I used to go to the gym with him just to see or like yes. play around. And I really liked it. So in 2017, I started playing it. But I took a break for a year. And then I went back again when I was nine years old. So you were definitely back to gymnastics when you were ready. And I think it's great because at least it could be a family activity with your cousin, right? Yeah. For sure. So what is your favorite and least favorite maneuver? Um, my favorite would probably be, um, I think, uh, your chanko on the vault because I feel like I do it smoothly. I really like it. And it's not very difficult for yes. me. And my least favorite would probably be still on vault. It's uh, Sakahara. It's a round of backflip. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that I'm ready to do it. So I don't really try to do it. Yeah, so maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe. For sure. So uh, what is your happiness, uh, happiest moment in gymnastics and why? I think my happiest moment would be when I got my giants on the wooden boards because I remember before, in the beginning of 2020, uh, 2022, I used to fall a lot on it and I used to get scared because I used to, like, my hands used to slip off the bar and I used to let it go. So I stopped working on it for mm -hmm. about three months. And then once I got back into training on it, I felt mm -hmm. that my hands, uh, like, had the feeling of the bar, so yes. it would make it easier. Definitely, and hopefully it will all get easier with time. And you've uh, definitely competed uh, several times, and I can see that from your medals. So uh, what is your favorite part of being in a competition? I think floor, because the music really makes me happy, and especially mm -hmm. that my skills, like, they match with the music. Definitely. I think music is always exciting for all of us, and it definitely does add to the atmosphere. So... Um, of course, uh, as I said, you had a few competitions, you've already competed several times. Do you still get nervous when you actually go to the floor? On floor, I don't really get nervous because floor is my favorite apparatus, so I take it as fun. But once it comes to the actual element, I focus, mm -hmm. I leave the fun aside. But even if I fall, I don't really think about it. Mm -hmm. It's like it happened, so it's fine. Definitely. It's absolutely normal to fall and keep going after that. And I think that's actually really great advice. But do you have any more advice or maybe do you have any words that you would like to say to people that have actually helped you in your journey in gymnastics? Uh, I want to thank the Kuwait Federation for helping me throughout my injury. I actually broke my toe once oh, wow. I was in the Algerian competition mm -hmm. I fell off the beam warm up and we only had 30 seconds to warm up so I think that made me go like a bit faster and that was kind of stressful mm -hmm. so I fell and I fractured my toe um, my friends got really upset for me and uh, they didn't want me to go up and compete the apparatus mm -hmm. but I still went up so the team wouldn't lose Yes, and I got a good score and I would also like to thank my teammates and my family I think support is a really nice thing especially in gymnastics mm -hmm. since it's like a really hard sport definitely Ghazlan and I can uh, always say that it's really important to always be supported by our family and friends and you're doing amazing and thank you for being with us thank you thank you Dear viewers, we had with us Ghazlan Lehbeel, a gymnast, and up next we have a gymnastics report. We're back from this gymnastics re uh, report and we have been joined by Fatma Nima, the gymnast. Good evening, Fatma. Welcome to Hari Kuwait. So, uh, Fatma, you've been a gymnast for a while and practicing gymnastics. Where do you train? Tell me. 
I joined gymnasia. That's amazing. And at what age did you start? Um, I started, I think, five or four years old. So it's definitely been a while. So what are your accomplishments so far? I can tell you have a lot from the medals you're wearing. I've been winning like nearly every competition and it's been really hard. But like I never give up and like I just do what my coaches say. I think it's always great to never give up and follow your dreams. So you're a competitor in Kuwait Women Gymnastic Team. Can you tell us about your experience? It's like, like even when I go to gymnasia, some people like say hi to me, or even my like my teammates like they're saying congrats. Even when I just came back from Algeria, mm -hmm. and it's been really fun. That's great. So. I really want to know, what is your dream and is anyone supporting you or inspiring you? Um, I want to go to the Olympics and Simone Biles and Comantia have been inspiring me ever since I started. That's amazing. So what, what does it feel to be a champion and be one of the highest level in the team? It feels like very fun, but at the same time, it's very hard to stay in the same position. Of course. But apparently you're doing really well. So uh, which country are your opponents usually from? They're like maybe from Jordan or Algeria. Mm -hmm. And you've definitely traveled a lot for yeah. competitions, right? And I think that's always exciting for us. So did you usually, do you usually get scared at competitions? Sometimes I do, but sometimes I feel confident. Of course, it's always different every single day. So what are your scores uh, compared to your opponents usually? Like sometimes it's like like two in between, but mm -hmm. like I'm not really sure. Of course. So finally, what advice do you have for young girls who actually want to become gymnasts like you? Like to never give up and even if you fall, you have to get back up and still keep trying because if you don't try, then you'll never get it. Of course, Fatma, that's amazing advice. Thank you for being with us in Helikuwait. Thank you. Thank you. Dear viewers, we had with us the gymnast Fatma Niman. Up next, we have a report. Stay tuned.